Tātad atkārtoti, atkārtoti aicinu Vācijas pārstāvu Kevinu Gruntālu. Un viņš piedāvās iepazīties ar, ar kontinentālā asatru tradīciju. Tā ir šo Nē, es Nē, Nē, My name is Kevin Grundle. Es ar mazlietīgi. Tātad labdien, mans vārds ir Kevins Rundals. Jā. And as with my Italian colleague, we're like yin and yang. He was representing the Roman culture. Now we're representing the culture which brought chaos to the Romans, the Germanic culture. Nu, mēs esam ar Itālu kā yin un yang. Viņš reprezentē Romas kultūru, un es reprezentēju tev kultūru, kas tā cīnījās ar Romas kultūru. Sagrāvi Romas kultūru, jā. As the ancestors of our religion came from the cold, dark north, we love the heritage of telling stories during winter nights, and therefore we don't make it without any presentation, just the verbal, classical conversation. Mūsu kultūra un mūsu tradīcija nāk no tālajiem tumšajiem ziemeļu zemēm, un tur bija tradīcija stāstīt ziemas garjos vakaros stāstus. Tāpēc man nebūs nekādas prezentācijas, bet es vienkārši pavanāšu. So, the name of our paganism, as a true, is delivered by the, actually, Icelandic words, osa, tru, which means loyal to the osas. The osas is the family name of the gods of the family. The, um, the, the God's family, loyal to the God's family. As a true vārds nāk no sēnīs no tieši vārdu, osas un tru salikuma, un osas ir sen, sens ģimenes, tā kā vārds, un tru ir laika likums, vai vai kaut kas tam neidzīgs? Ticība. Ticība, nekasība. Patiesība. Mums viedris, ka arī tas pats ir ticība. The origin. Yeah. The origin of our, of our culture is um, around uh, 3,700 years ago, a very young culture, uh, from Scandinavia and uh, northern Germany. Tātad viņa kultūra ir samērā jā, 3,700 gadu no Skandināvijas un Ziemeļu nākas. Those people at that time um, developed similar cultural patterns, probably a similar um, cultural language and emigrated around the year of 800 more and more to the south. Viņiem šī bija kultūra, kurā ir bija līdzīgs kultūrās iezīmes, un viņi tātad emigrēja vairāk un vairāk dienu virzienā. And with them um, they took the calendar, the, the year circle we call it, or the wheel of the year, which therefore transformed a lot of times. Un viņi sev līdz tātad paņēma arī kalendāro sistēmu, ko mēs saucam par uh, in uh, the way of going from the north to the south, the tendency of always going southern, there were first of all the wheel of the year, the calendar of the year, um, changed first of all because of the different climates my ancestors went through, and second of all because of all the cultures they were meeting and melting with. Protams, ka šajā ceļā notika arī kalendārās izmaiņas pirmkārt klimata dēļ, jo mainās klimats, un otrkārt arī, protams, kultūra ietekmi rezultāta. So, for example, um, by my, by my uh, traditional clothing, which represents uh, around the 7th century of central Germany, you see this mixture with other cultures. Un, piemēram, arī viņa tērpus, ko viņš uh, prezentē šodien, nāk aptuveni no 7. gadsimta un pārstāv vidus Vācijas reģionā. The Germanic culture group, they were like land nomads and had really um, easy patterns of decorating themselves. Tā tad tā bija kāda ziemē? Nomadic people. Ah, normāli. Klejotāji. Klejotāji cilvēks un viņiem bija 
visai pieticīgs dekorējums tautas tērpos, visai pieticīgi tā zīme nautas sistēma. So these are, for example, uh, really easy Germanic patterns uh, mixed with um, Celtic, so Gallo, we call it, um, colors. Tad ļoti vienkārši normāli raksts, savienāts ar teltu un gaļu, gaļu krāsā, krāsu kārtojumu. The most things found in the early age of our culture um, are really rarely because uh, the things were made by um, not durable material. What is it really? Durable. Durable. That's no material. That's why it's like The material that was made uh, was, was not durable. Yeah, it was not durable. <coughs> so details of, for example, details of belts or bags are mostly just um, imaginary interpretations. But uh, by later times you could, for example, see by the way the Germanic people formed their patterns, like on this knife found in New York, 9th century, um, that they were strongly mixing mainly with the Celtic people. Bet jau no vēlākiem laikiem viņš rāk piemēram no 9. gadsimta jau var redzēt ģermāņu rakstus un kā kas tā tad ir ķeltu rakstu. So, in an example, for example, what we know as the Viking ship, which were our northern brothers, coming up around the 8th century, the Viking ship had a dragon head. Labi zināms ir vikīnu kuģi, kas ir nākuši no ziemeļiem un viņu this dragon head was actually a Celtic symbol of a holy horse. But when the Vikings went into enemy waters, they changed the head into a bad looking horse to chase away the enemy spirits. But kad vikingi devās svešos ūdeņos un svešām zemēm, viņi nomainīja šo jauko seju pret atbaidošu, lai atbaidītu ļaunos garus. So, and this Celtic horse came originally from what is today France. Viņa saknes šim ķeltu zirgam ir no Francijas. And this total art with this Celtic horse on a ship with a lot of lines was a mixture of Celtic, Etruscan, which is northern Italy, tribes around the 4th century. Un šī zirga līnijas un apveids ir tātad sajaukums Celtic and Celtu un Etrusku tātad Itālijas pirmiedzīvotāji vai sanojiedzīvotāji. So by this we see how the Germanic people were gathering a lot of cultures and melting them and perfectionizing them in their own culture. Tā var redzēt, kā ģermāni cilvēki apvienoja vairākas kultūras un tā kā viņas pilnveidoja šo iedegu un visā kultūrā. The Germanic people finally identified themselves or they were identified as a culture by a common language which developed around 100 or 50 years before our time schedule. Bet ģermāni cilti sevi apzināja, kā kaut ko vienot ar savu vienoto valodu aptuveni 100, yes? 100. Aptuveni 100 līdz 500 gadus pirms mūsu ēras. So that's how we in our mythology, in our pagan religion, also make often a line between the Scandinavian and the continental Germanic religions. You have this line, mate? We, it is by the mythology and the imaginary line, you can say, because of traditions. We will explain. The, yeah. 
you mean the line is as a connection or as a borderline? It, it came, it came as a borderline around 100. Jā, tātad, nu, tajā laikā var uh, iet tā kā nodalīt viņus, bet pēc būtības tātad tā bija šī migrācija, un ap šo laiku var teikt, ka tas ir kaut kas pats stāvīgs tajā vietā, radies atšķirīgs, kā no, no ziemeļtīcijas. BC 100. 100 BC, around, I guess, 80 BC, when uh, Caesar was meeting these two Eben tribes, there was the first time when one language was recognized which they say okay this is the germanic language and that the caesar satika vietējās cilvēks un tad tika tā kā apzināts kad vai nolēts kad ir šī ta vienotā valoda and uh, by this line we still celebrate different words different versions of the germanic religions of the asatru which is south of denmark and north or from denmark on north this is a cl clear line in the traditions. Tātad apušai līnijai iedomātajai var saskatīt atšķirības kultūrās starp to, kas ir dienvidos kontinentālajā Eiropā un Ziemeļos. You see this, for example, by the development of the god of Odin. Development. And how he came up. This figure Odin. By linguistics, by linguistics, um, the god Odin is identified the first time in central Germany. And, and came by uh, a Celtic god. In our area, we call him Vodan. In the northern area, because of the language switch, the W was cancelled, so you call him Odin. But Ziemen territories double double isvietrots on which kluva per Odin. And uh, now, because of the Christian taking over. We lost the traditional way of the year circle, which was very provincial, different from each other. But but that's what is Christian types. I think my Vinny is Zaldeish. So, God, Ritaim, Iskarto, and Kasbi, Luoti, Atschiriks. No, so step by step, it's more Atschirig. Um, we are now trying in our in our South German province to reconstruct the wheel of the year. Un šobrīd viņi savā apvidū, savā novadā mēģina rekonstruēt tieši šo kontinentālās tradīcijas gadskārtu. As it was a centralized neo-pagan version existing before, which was more Celtic. Jo tā bija centralizēta neopagāna būstība, kas bija vairāk ķeltiska. And we follow this tradition actually by one small legend. So we're coming to the storytelling part now. Un mēs sakojam šai tradīcijai pateicoties kādai legendai, kā tad mēs kļūstam daļu no stāstīšanas, tā teikt. The circle of life per year is described in a marriage between two gods. Tā tad gada cikls tiek aprakstīts kā divu dievu laulība. In this, in the winter time, there is just dead ruling. A rule is like a ground. A uh, rule, to rule is uh, everywhere. Valde. No, it's Kas ir vai? rule, valde. Oh, valde. Like a king is ruling valde. himself. Valde. Valde. So, so there is only dead, you can say. Oh, I said that. That is the same. Like a valde, mirusha, mirusha pasalta. That day. In springtime, there is. A goddess coming up, which is called Freya. Pavasari, tātad nāk Freya, dievieta Freya. Which is celebrated in the spring festival. Kurai tiek veltīts pavasars vērki. In the summer solstice, you celebrate her as Frik. Vasars saustājos tiek svinēts Frik. 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 She is the adult version of Freya. Viņi ir pieaugusi Freja. Viņi ir tā tad Frejas, tā kā pieaugusi, pieaugusi agresīvai tās. She is married to an older man 
which is provincial, very different, but mostly identified uh, with Odin. Un tātad viņa, viņa šajā laikā ir precības ar vecāku vīru, kurš var būt reprezentāts ļoti dažādi, bet kas ir šis Odins. They form in provincial differences other gods, like for example um, in one version Thor or Duna. Tātad dažādās, dažādos apvidos, dažādās vietās viņam dažādi nosaukumi. Viens no tiem ir, piemēram, Thors. That's why you, at summer solstices um, in southern German provinces find, find the, uh, the, um, the festival to sacrifice Thor or Tu or Duna, as we call them. Tāpēc ir Vācijā apvidi, kur vasaras alstāvjos tiek veikt rituāli pa godu Thoram. Because he does not only bring the thunder and the lightning, Tāpēc, ka viņš ne tikai pērkona un zibeni, a, a, but also the, the hail, you know, the ice blocks. Krusu. <laughs> Bet arī krusu. Which destroy the harvest. Kas iznīcina uh, labību, gražu. In autumn time, Frick turns into North Germany, into hail, in South Germany, into... <coughs> Oh, wait, into Perchta. Tātad uh, rudenī šī pati frīk pārvēršās insuls. So, she turns into an older woman, but she has different names. Jūs vecāka, the names was in North part. Uh, north part were, for example, Heil or Holle. Tātad ziemeļos Heil vai Holle. Holle, in South to Perchta. Un dienudos Perchta. Perchta is the Celtic version. And Hail is more Germanic. In the winter times, when the couple of Odin and Hail becoming old, they are dying. Un ziemas laikā, kad Odins un Hail šis pāris kļūst veci, tad viņi nomirst. And in... Uh, during the highest, most uh, holiest festival of the winter time, which the northern call Yule time. Tātad viss tādā nozīmīgākajā festi, ziemas svētkos, the name is... Yule. Yule? Winter time, just call it winter time. Oh, but the festivity. Yule. It's Yule. Yule. For the Scandinavians. Um, the... The gods vanish, like they are, they are passing away. And you celebrate within the 13 days of the winter to the January, of December to January, you celebrate the rough nights. That's the name of the holiest festival. No, I come to this. No, that's the swimming. Rough nights. No, don't shock. I've got the lights. It's happening. Hard, 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 hard. Yeah, hard. Yeah, hard. Because those storms in winter times are seen as the souls of the dead passing by, which tell you you're not allowed to leave the house and do work outside. You should keep with your family inside. Ah, she's a likes that the. Uh, gaismas vai zibeņa debesīs ir kā mm, uh, senču, gari, uh, bet tas nozīmē, ka nevar iet uz āru cilvēks, viņam ir jāpaliek ģimenē, jāpaliek mājās. And uh, these are considered by the Germanic people because of celebrating um, Voda or Odin as one of the holiest in year. The time, the time is the holiest, or one of the holiest. Šis laiks ir viens no svētākajiem. So therefore, therefore, some pagan communities in Switzerland, Austria and South Germany suggested that everybody has his provincial festivals, but we should at least take these festivals for all Germanic people as the holiest and fixed dates. Tāpēc ļoti daudzas grupas, kas svin šos svētkus šajā laikā, vēlas panāk to, ka viņi kļūst par valsts atzītiem svētkiem, par dienu, kas tiek fiksēta. 
So there is um, one uh, German. There is one German writing literature being ironically um, paid or partly paid by the Catholic Church to recreate the or to refine the roots of the Christian traditions, which were actually Germanic traditions. Ironiska, ja? Mm -hmm. Ironiska mācītāja, līdz ja, grāmata, kas mēģina it kā atrast mācība, kas mēģina it kā atrast kristietības saknes tajā visā, kas īstenībā ir senas, senas ķelti un ģermāna saknes. And he is uh, with uh, the company in Switzerland trying to recreate by historical facts what festivals were Uh, celebrated in which area of South Germany? Un ir šveicai kompānija, kas mēģina atjaunot, restaurēt, kādi svētki, kurā reģionā ir svinēti agrāk Vācijā. So for... Wait a second. Gunther. Gunther. Ich weiß nicht, wie er in den Büchern heißt. Um, So we Germanic unfortunately do not have such a clear heritage as you do. Mums diem čel Ģermāņiem nav tik skaidrs un pilnīgs kultūras mantojums, kāds tas ir jums. And therefore try to refine ourselves again. Un līdz ar to mums ir par jaunu jāatrod pašiem sev. What I want to tell you by the end of this um, presentation Un mūsu manas runas noslēgumā, es jums vēlētos teikt. Is that um, by seeing, experiencing your culture, mostly in Lithuania and southern Latvia. Bet, uh, ka es redzot un piedzīvojot jūsu kultūras pārsvarā Lietuvā, bet arī Latvijā. Um, you find your, the wish of your own culture being as deep as your culture is still in our days. Man ir sajūta, ka nav arī vēlēšanās. Vēlēšanās, lai katru īsti pie tādu... Lai viņu kultūru būtu tikpat dziļi kā mūsu mūsdienās. So, I can only tell you, as you have an intact culture, you only miss what you already lost. So keep it, or in future you will miss it. Un tāpēc viņš var pateikt no savas puses, noturiet to, kas jums ir, jo jūs varat zaudēt nākotnē, ja jūs to neturēsiet un neturēsiet. Are there any questions, ja? Yeah? Yes, we use this community. Mm, there, the... Cik liela ir šī kopiena? The German communities are very split from each other because of internal conflicts. As I know by the Elder Ring is by numbers the biggest. But I already met like uh, small communities of 20 people. Bet viņš ir sastāpts arī neliels kopas ar 20 cilvēkiem. But the ones who are not organized pagans, but who are not really deep into the traditions. Bet ir arī tādi, kas nav organizēti pagāni, bet viņi arī nav ļoti dziļi šai tradīcijā iekšā. Are by the figure in my expectation way higher, because I met more of these people. It's interesting that you said you were in support of a Catholic Church. But this, in yeah. general, what is the response like from the rest of the people? The rest of... Of, of the people, but the rest of the Germans, or, Catholic, well, or Christian Germans. Well, the, the, mass is not, the mass of Germans is not really interested in the pagan cults, the mass. It is not comparable like uh, to Hindu traditions, for example, because we have an other source of identification, historically. Tā tā ģermāņu kultu sabiedrība šobrīd kopumā nav interesēta savas kultūras izzināšanā, jo viņi sevi identificē ar, viņi sev savādāk identificē ar citiem vēsturiskiem notikumiem, jā, atšķirībā, piemēram, no hindu kultūras. For the German state, 
the history from the 19th century onwards is more important than what was 1000 years ago. Piemēram, viņiem ir svarīgāk, kas ir noticis 19. gadsimtā un uz mūsdienām nevis kas ir bijis senatnē. Ja. There are also truths in the in the Sweden also. Mm -hmm. Are they different than Germanic? Um, I I personally don't know a lot actually about the German pagans. I was uh, more involved with the people from Switzerland, uh, Netherlands, and uh, then and uh, Norway, and they are clear different, even though the frame of the picture is the same. It is uh, comparable when uh, Latvians and Lithuanians compare their culture. In details, they are very different, but still they follow the same roots and the same symbols as they were mainly living in the same vegetation area and under the same patterns of culture. Saprats, ka viņas ir ļoti atšķirīgas, tas ir līdzīgi kā latviešiem ar lietuviešiem detaļās, mēs arī atšķiramies. Ir kaut kādas kopējas lietas, kas, jo mēs esam vienā klimatiskajā joslā un ir kaut kādas kopējas iedzīmes, bet ir, ir, ir arī atšķirīgas. So a practical example is so much, uh, for example, that in Norway, in North Norway, the Asatru are more worshipping the so-called Vanas, which are the spirits of the mountains or the seas. Piemēram, ziemeļos viņi vairāk ir saistīti ar vanas, kas ir kalnu gari. While in territories which were more fertile by the land, which there were more cities coming up, the people were more worshipping to goddess or gods, which had more a human looking. Jā, bet tās kultūras, kas ir vairāk bijušas zemienēs un kurās ir attīstījušās pilsētas, Tās vairāk ir izveidojušas dievs pēc cilvēka līdzības, bet ziemeļos lūk šie kalni, un tas vairāk ir bijuši tādi dabas un kalnu gari. So, I was uh, with, with, an, with a Norwegian for years who worshipped like mountain giants, which they called trolls, while I was worshipping gods, and we had the same ceremony for this. Um, when I was uh, with a Norwegian, Kalnos troļus, kalnos troļus viņa draugs pielūdzā, viņš pielūdza dievus. Pagāna dievus. Tātad kalnos, ja troļi. Viņa draugam. Jā, draugi, bet viņš tātad par dievi nav. Pielūdza. The question is regarding, you use just now what you said, regarding trolls and these gods, but you use like gods Odin. Odin is well-known military chief, yes? You know that in 220, 240, he came from south uh, to, to Europe, and he was struggling, and he was a military chief, yes? And uh, he stayed there. The same as we know that Rik, Rik, you know where is the capital of Latvia, Riga, Riga. It was Viking who established Riga. He came here, he invaded here, in fact, yes, and established Riga. But Odin, it's well known military chief with troops, they came. I, I understand that now it's uh, the change that is good. The linguistic, what, the example we made was uh, from linguistic research in Hesse, which is a federal state of Germany, following back the traces when the, when the word came up the first time in their language. Tātad viņi meklēšu šī vārda sapnis, Odina vārda sapnis, Hesā, tātad kur, kur viņš parādīja šis vārds, viņi meklēja sapnis. And the parallel of a Celtic god being worshipped there, who had the same attitudes, the same symbols, was, is, is very clear. Un parādās ar ķeltu dieviem, tur bija ļoti skaidri redzams. But this is only a linguistic approach. There is no certification of uh, how the god came up. Bet tās tikai linguistiskas tādas... Uh, Aspekts tur nav nekādu, uh, tur tas neparāda to, kā šie dievi ir atrašies. Ok. Tagad mēs ieviesīsim visam nelielas izmaiņas, jo Par Japatu kalendāru īstenībā ļoti interesants stāsts. Mums 
Diemžēl personīgi neviens nevar ierasties uz konferenciju, jo viņiem 21. datums ir ļoti lieli svētki, līdzvērtīgi jaunajam gadam. Un viņi visi ir aizbraukuši svinēt šos svētkus, bet mēs rītdien varēsim pastīties, viņi ir atsūtījuši filmiņu 15 minūšu garu, un tas ir ļoti, ļoti interesanti, un es, es ir absolūti. I wanted to excuse about the next uh, presentation uh, of Jakut culture. Mm -hmm. Nē, nē, tas ir vecais programmiņi. Because um, they couldn't attend in our conference personal. Uh, because uh, 21st of June they have a very big event. It's almost like a new year. And we will this presentation put to tomorrow. Because they sent to us a video, short video about this event. And I think it will be very interesting tomorrow in the morning when you will rest. <laughs> okay? So, and the last one, a presentation today is a Slavonic cycle. I'm sorry, Chash but we thought there will be two more presentations. So, Zdaniek has now gone for the for USB. For a long time. And there are two more presentations on the program. So, please, we will talk If you give us five minutes. Yeah, yeah, five minutes. Break. Break. Yeah, someone yeah. tell the story until he's coming. Yes, yeah. okay. <laughs> right now?